So you just got your girl a cart and now you're staring at a bunch of parts. You're not too sure where to start. Well, in today's video, I'm going to make it super simple on how to build your grill cart. And it all starts with this little package here. They make it super simple by giving you all the bolts and a little package that you need for each step. And they're all numbered. The first part to do is take the four bolts from section one and put it through the front piece here. Now, there are only four slots in the middle and you're going to want to get your bracket and make sure it's facing the right way where the pin goes to the front of the grill cart. It's a little bit difficult here as it does one fall over. And you're going to put your nuts on just finger tight for now we're going to get these top two done here and then we're going to flip it over and do the other side it's a little bit easier as this metal bracket was already in place just make sure that it doesn't fall out of this and damage anything that may be close by know that you don't have to put this metal bracket together i think you used to have to do that on some of the older models but this model here comes ready to install now we're just going to tighten everything up with our 13 mil socket the next part we're going to install is the back axle now you're going to need the two long bolts and the two shorter bolts from section two and the two longer bolts go into this central piece here so we're going to get them in first these can be a little bit tricky to line up so push them in through from the inside of the poly cart and then line this axle up with the bolt and then you can attach put the washer on and attach the nut repeat for the other side this is going to be a little bit easier for the other side as you already have the axle secured don't tighten anything up at this point you want to get the next two smaller bolts located first to install these smaller bolts you are going to have to move this support bracket now you can see me here pushing on it a little bit but it's actually easier to put the bolt through first and then you can push the bracket up and then use the bolt to hold the bracket in place then you put your washer on and your nut to make sure that it doesn't fall out again it can be quite easy to knock that bolt back through and then this bracket wouldn't be located properly and you'd have to do it again switch over to the other side here already got the bolt pushed through from the other side and then I can just move the axle and get the support bracket secured. Now it's time to just tighten everything up. Don't want to tighten one bolt up and then not get everything to fit. It's better to get everything fitted and then tighten it by hand. We're going to move up to section three where you put this yellow little spacer on first. Acts like a washer and then you can put the steering mechanism on. Now be careful here to note that there is a little indent on the yellow bracket here and you want to make sure that the steering axle slots into there perfectly if you don't get it lined up perfectly i'll show you what happens in just a second here now you're going to put the washer on and then the nut and then you can start to tighten up this nut here and you're not going to want to tighten this too much or the steering won't work and if you don't have everything located correctly you're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like this where the metal has twisted and it's not sitting on that spacer properly so what you're going to do is undo it and then move everything around so it lines up properly and then tighten it back up now we can put the wheels on so you slot the wheel on put the washer on and then you've got this little split pin that you're going to put through it's got a little eyelet on the end and this is how the wheels are going to be secured and then we can just give it a little bit of a spin to make sure that it does work. Securing the tilt lever looks a little bit backwards here because you put the bolt on from the inside, and then, but the nut does slot into this little hole on the front here, and that means it's locked in place, then you can tighten that bolt from the inside. So we've got the first one on here, we're gonna put the second one on over here, and there are two more that are gonna go below that yellow handle there. A little bit difficult to see on this, but when you're building your own, you'll see them. On the back here, we're just gonna tighten everything up with our 13 mil socket again. We don't have to worry about holding the nut as it's in that bracket. And then we're on to the last part and it's securing the handle. This bolt here has a little square on it, so it's gonna secure itself on this side here. We can put the washer on the other side and then the nut, and then we can tighten this up. And again, don't tighten this too much or the handle may not lift up and down. So you wanna tighten it enough so that it's not loose, but just bear that in mind, you don't wanna tighten it too much as it will pinch on that bracket. Then there we have it, the Gorilla Cart is built. It's super simple to build one of these and now you can go outside and start doing some gardening. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, check out this video over here.